Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another edition of the Lab 207 Webcast. My name is Mr. Kite, and I'll be hanging out with you today as we wrap up our last of the Big Idea Overviews. We've gone Big Ideas 1 through 3. We are now on to Big Idea 4, which is going to take us out to the end of the year. So before I jump into my video, let's talk about what you should know or be able to do by the end. First thing, you should understand the theme of Big Idea 4. Second thing, you should be able to give a brief summary of each of the enduring understandings. So this last big idea, number four, is that biological systems interact and that these systems and their interactions possess complex properties. So what does that mean? This last big idea is going to be all about tying together the things that we have been learning all year long. For this unit, or this, I guess, nine weeks, there isn't going to be a whole lot of new information. There's going to be a few new points about ecology. Um, we're going to do some of the stuff that you may have seen in apes, but in large part, it's going to be taking things that we have been looking at all year long and putting them together, looking for big connections, looking for ways that they interact, and looking for the properties that come out of those interactions. You see the first couple slides. I had the metaphor of a watch. Our living world is a very complex system, much like a watch. It is also highly tuned, much like a watch. So over the next seven or eight weeks, we are going to be looking at how all of the different parts and pieces work together to function as a system. We're going to start our search out in enduring understanding 4a, which is that interactions within biological systems lead to complex properties. Now you're going to see a very common theme. There are three enduring understandings, and for each one we are going to start out small and then zoom out to large. So each of the enduring understandings is going to start out looking at the molecular level. We're going to look at the way organic molecules interact with each other, and then from there we'll move up to looking at interactions between cell components, so like organelles, then we'll look at interactions within an organism, so it'd be like organs and organ systems, and then we'll look at interactions between organisms, and then we'll look at interactions within ecosystems. So for each of the enduring understandings, we are going to follow that same pattern. This first one, we're just going to look at the properties that come out of these interactions. For 4b, we're going to look at competition and cooperation and how those are important aspects of biological systems. So at the molecular level, we're going to be looking at the way that molecules cooperate with each other. When we get to organs, we're going to be looking at cooperation between organ systems. So how does the nervous system interact with the respiratory system, etc. At the ecosystem level, we're going to be looking at those competition uh, predation, mutualism, commensalism, all those interactions between animals, and then we'll look at the way that ecosystems interact with each other. And then finally, we're going to finish out with 4C, which is, as biology always does, ties back to the idea of evolution and diversity. So naturally occurring diversity within biological systems affect interactions with the environment. So we'll look at things like how small changes to biological molecules can dramatically impact their function. We'll look at the way that the environment impacts gene expression. We'll look at the way the environment impacts organ systems. Um, we'll look at how uh, variation leads to greater biodiversity in ecosystems. Again, taking that lens of starting small and then zooming all the way out. So that's going to be it. Like I said, this last nine weeks or so is just going to mostly be a review and synthesis of everything that we have done all year long. So thank you for joining us on the Lab 207 webcast. My name is Mr. Kite, and I hope to see you again.